Hey, Shalom. First off, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Who has taught me this truth. Want to give a peace and blessings to the I came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk the life to do so. And who are hoping to, to make it out of here. A uh, quick video I'm beginning to base. Also, oh, like, hey, this is your brother Tazar Moth here with the uh, Phoenix Service on the camp. So, quick video I've been getting into, man, is uh, basically the 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 law, man. You know, scriptures say, you know, um, you know, it's this it's the whole duty of man, you know, and what is love? Well, we know what love is according to the scriptures, right? Is the keeping of the law, because if you read the law, right, and understand the law, then you understand that it's the it's the way of life. It's how you conduct yourself. How you should conduct yourself as being a man of the most high or as being an Israelite man, period. You know, you have dietary law in there. You got a law. You got laws on, on, you know, how to basically how to how to how to move, you know, how to how to treat your brother, you know, how to how to, you know, just how to basically how to be a man, how to move, how to rule. You know, scripture said if you love if. uh if you love, um, roughly paraphrasing, I think it's in Proverbs, man. Let me see if I can get it real quick. It says, if you love, because the law, the law is, is, is wisdom. You know what I mean? The law, the law has to, to, to follow the law. You got to have wisdom, man. And with following the law, it brings wisdom. What does scripture say? It said, if you. Bear with me one minute. Man, I can't find it. it I'm gonna find it, little will. <clears throat> Right here. Yeah, I don't know why I was in. Right here. <laughs> so, I think it was one in Proverbs too, but I may be wrong. Um, it says, uh, it says, uh, let me start at, right here, man, I was just reading this. So, I can't, I can't bear with me. I'm trying to make sure I hit the point. So I'll just start at, I'll start at 17. It says, this is Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 17. It says, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And her is wisdom. And the care of discipline is love. And what is love? And love is the keeping of her laws. And the giving, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Therefore, the, des the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Con, if your delight be then in thrones and sceptres, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Right. So that's your delight, which is that's our, our delight being a man of the Lord. Lord willing, we are the men of the Lord. We got to desire wisdom, right? And wisdom has to do with the law because with the law, you gain wisdom on how to move. The law is, it is wisdom, basically. You know, because with that, you know how to move. You know how to, you know how to, you know how to live. You know how to conduct yourself as far as being a man of the Lord. See, transgression of the law is sin, man. And what is sin? Sin is death. So that's, 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 that's a way to, to death, man. Either by you putting the things in your body that eventually kill you, or you getting out of line and the Lord putting you to death. 
You know, this is Proverbs 7 and 1. It says, my son, keep th keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live. And my law as the apple, it's like it. And my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them up, bind upon thy fringes, write them upon the tables of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. But if you go up, it says, keep my, and two, it says, keep my commandments and live in my law as, as the apple of thine eye. You know? And that's how it says, keep my commandments and live. Because that's that's life, man. With through the commandments, you know how to live. You know how to, like I said, you know how to, you know how to live. You know how to be. You know what to say. You know how to act. You know, you know how to respond to things, different things that happen in your life. Why do you think the the law is going to be written in our animal parts once our bodies has changed? You know, because we're going with the law. We're going with the Most High's law, which is has to do with wisdom. We're going to rule the nations, man. We're going to know how to rule the nations. Okay, and then they're going to have to keep the law as well. You know, it tells you the building of our kingdom in Isaiah in multiple scriptures, but Isaiah sixty is is one that I that I tap into. You know, but you gotta understand, man. You know, it's gonna be written in our inward parts. So how important is the law? If the Most High is gonna give us a new body and write it in our inward parts, it's got to be extremely important. It's gonna download on us. Therefore, we're not gonna be able to, to go off. You know, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of men, right? Fear the Most High, keep his commandments. And this is the whole, this is, uh, this is the whole duty of men, right? This is, this is our duty, man. By keeping, keeping the law, fearing the Most High. If you fear the Most High, you're going to keep the law to the best of your abilities. I know we're here in America. So we got to do our best as far as keeping the law to the best of our ability. Because you're going to go off. You know, uh, 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 that's why you're going to slip, man. But a wise man know when he's slipping. You're going to fall seven times with seven references completion. But you're going to know when to get back up. You're going to know you're going to know to get back up and keep pushing. Until destruction comes, man. And as a matter of fact, speaking of destruction, let me go. Let me get this before I forget to get it. Wait till the screen loads, man. This fucking app, man. Here. It's a lot. Boom. Second edges 9 and 11. It says. Yeah, second edges 9 and 11. It says, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain, right? So law, loath goes into like a strong hatred. So those who's, who hated the most high Yahweh, his laws. And 12, it says the same must know it after death by pain, man. You're going to know it. You're going to know it because you hate it. You don't want to get right. You thought this life was about following your dreams you know the american dream you thought this life was about you know building you thought this i mean you didn't you didn't, you didn't let me see you didn't um you didn't uh you thought this life was about um you know partying bullshitting the shit that these american people do and really all the people across the earth that's not this truth you, this life is about Preparing for the next life. And if you can see what I'm saying, it's about getting right on this side so therefore we can make it to the other side, which we're going to have everlasting life and not taste death anymore. All right. Let's see. Funny. 
I think it's Evermore. a lot. Now I can't find it, man. Oh, right here. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah, gone. So this is Revelation 21 and 4. It says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Right? So, and what does that bring you into? That brings you into the everlasting life, man. You know, and, and what is the everlasting life? It's the kingdom. Where we shouldn't taste death anymore, and we're going to rule as far as being Israelites, being that select chosen of, of men, Lord willing. I'm part of that number, the 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe or the tribe of Israel. You know? Um, and, you know... I always say like why stack up everything on this side when you know it's going to be taken away it's that's a bad investment invest in things that's going to bring you ever bring you rulership and everlasting everlasting life and peace for eternity okay you know rulership you know you know but with that man it was a quick video i wanted to get into basically the law you know the law is wisdom you know, and and, and, and and using the using following the law is, is a wise thing to do, especially now it's don't get it wrong, just following the law that doesn't lead to your salvation, as Paul spoke about. But but we know that you know it, your salvation is, is grace through your house shy, but we know that it's follow it says do we make uh do we being that we don't follow the law, do we man, let me get it real fast. That's not it. Where? So it's Romans 3 and 31. It says, Do we then make void the law through faith? The most high forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. Okay. So we establish the law, you know? So with that, man, I want to uh, just basically, I'm going to end a video. Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm gonna say Mawathla Babo, Mawathla Babo, Mawathla Babo, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, and I wanna say Shalom to you, Akim Shalom.